Hello. I'm here to explain how to set up your live split. Make sure you open up the program first time as administrator and whenever you run the game. So, it should first look something like this. When we right click, we will open up our settings. And uh, here we want to make sure we're comparing against the game time. Because that is the important stat to know when we run Resident Evil 2 Remake. Because the ending time is based on game time. Also another thing what we want to do is we want to go to the settings. To open up a window like this. So here we want to make sure we bind some of these settings here to somewhere comfortable that we don't accidentally press. I personally bind them on keep numpad, but uh, you can do whatever you want. The important ones here are start split, reset, and for some advanced use you can do undo, skip, and pause. Also, make sure the global hotkeys are checked, because if this isn't checked, it will only accept the hotkeys when you have directly clicked and have the live split selected. Alright. So. First of all, we will go here to click edit splits. And it opens up a window like this. And uh, it is a bunch of empty stuff which we have to start filling out. So, we'll pick up our game which will be Resident Evil Oopsies There we go And it's the 2019 It's the remake and Then we select our run category For me The run category The most common run category is the new game PC or console Whenever you select the game, it should automatically activate the auto splitting function here. If it's not activated for some reason, make sure you click here and activate it. Make sure you're on the game time tab, because that is the time we want to compare against. And then, to get started, you go here and click settings. And it opens up a window like this. And here we want to make sure we start adding the splits where we want the game to split our times. So as many places where I want the game to split and record my time, I need to have splits here. So we're gonna have like storage key, which is the actual the gas station key. We need spade key, we need all the medallions. And so on, fuse, large gear, small gear. You get the drill. Enable all the things you want to be the game to split at. And after that, you gotta make sure you add as many splits here as you have things check marked, check marked on here. So, for example, the first split would be the gas station key. It doesn't matter what you name these splits as, as long as you know the name of the split. And then we're gonna insert below the next split. Will be enter RPD. And so on, so on, so on, so on. And you keep adding the splits, as many splits as you have things checked on this tab. Once you've done all that, Make sure to fill in these stats, it will help you when you save up your splits to have it more organized. Because when you put up the characters, the frame rate, platform, difficulty and so on, it will display it when you save up the splits. It will display it nicely and categorized here under new game, PC, Leon, standard the FPS, and then you can have multiple different splits for that category, if you want. So, once you've added all the splits, it should look something like this. I 
I'm gonna quickly have a look at the settings. This is how it should look like after you run the game for a while. We have our split times, we have our segment times, we have our best times. There's as many splits as I have checked things here. If you ever download splits from somebody else and you want to clear all the times, you can just click the other tab and clear history, times or some of best. So you can have somebody pre-make all the splits for you and just clear all the times and start running against somebody else's splits. The next thing we're gonna change is edit layout. So actually, let me open up the default layout. It should look something like this once you've added the splits. So, if you're streaming and you wanna add the live split on the screen, you can add it like this. It will be just a box with all the text and stuff like that. But for example, I like it to be transparent. So, I personally have it as a um, blue background, like this. And I've chroma keyed it on my stream program, which is Streamlabs OBS. The blue away, and this should become transparent. So, you can edit your layout settings here. When you click edit layout, I will show how my edit layout is and I'll explain how this works so since splits is the one thing here at the top it is here at the top if I move the splits at the bottom it will move the splits at the bottom here so you can change the order of things you want them to display on the live street program here also you can change the size you can also just drag on the corner here and drag it bigger or smaller. When you double click any of these tabs, it should open up settings window like this. And here I've set up, set it up to blue and so on. There's a lot of little settings you can go through here and uh, customize live split to look the way you want it to. I'm not gonna throw, go through all these settings myself, but. Uh, Take your time and uh, learn what's here. How to add new uh, splits here, or new sections. Click the pause here, we have different types of timers. We have a detailed timer, a normal timer. You can add splits, sub-splits. You can add a little more information here. Possible time saves and all this stuff. Not all of this is not by here default. So you might have to add some of this here. And uh, with that, you should be set up with your live split. And it should start running whenever you start up the game. And whenever you click the new game, it should automatically start splitting. And after your run dies, you need to manually press your button to reset the splits back to the beginning. At the very end, to save your splits, if you manage to get the run all the way to the end, just make sure you have your start and split time bound to somewhere. And you wanna click this key bind so it will save the ending time your splits. It might ask you as well by default, I don't know, depending on the settings, but This is just really bare bones explanation how to do live split. I will put some uh, links to pre-made splits to download in the description below and some other guides who explain things more detailed. So if this wasn't uh, comprehensive enough, go have a look. Other than that, thanks so much for watching guys. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more guides and content and first playthroughs and also follow me on twitch.tv slash 7ready